The Fender Blender Universal stationary kit works with almost any bike. What makes a good bike? First, think about the height of your rider. You want the size of the bike to fit the size of the riders. For people four feet or taller, you'll want an adult size bike frame. That's 24 inch, 26 inch, or 700 C wheels. For young kids five to 10 years old, a bike with 20 inch wheels is often the best size. Smaller 16 inch wheels can work too, but might require some customization. Bikes with a step through frame, traditionally a ladies style frame, can make it easier for riders to get on and off the bike. No matter your frame size, it is good to use a multi-speed bike, one with gears. You generally need a faster gear to make a good smoothie. Single speed beach cruisers can work, but may not provide the fastest or most efficient bike blending. The more gears you have, the higher the chance that you will get powerful high speed bike blending. It is important that the wheel axle of your bike is compatible with the axle cups of the stationary stand. Bolt on axles or enclosed cam skewers fit securely in the cups. Newer exposed cam skewers may slide out during use. You don't need a new wheel, just the right skewer. Contact us and we'll include one in your order. Some internally geared wheels will not be compatible with the stationary stand because the shift cables interfere with the mounting cups. You don't want your bike to have rear fenders. Rear fenders can get in the way of blending and will need to be removed or cut away where the roller makes contact with the tire. Bikes with a built-in rack or a rack already installed will likely not be compatible with our blender base. You'll need a bike frame that has mounting points for a rear rack. This is common on most city bikes, mountain bikes, and touring bikes, but not as common on racing bikes. Look for threaded holes in the frame, two near the center of the rear wheel and two near the rear brakes. If you don't have these on your frame, you can use P-clamps available from your local hardware or bicycle shop. You'll need to measure the tube diameter of your frame and match it to the correct P-clamp size. You don't want your bike to have rear suspension. Rear suspension will likely interfere with the mounting system of the FBU's rear rack. Front suspension won't cause problems, but won't offer any benefits either. You'll want a comfortable seat, sturdy handlebars, and comfy hand grips. An adjustable seat post will allow for a wider size range of pedalers and a quick release lever allows you to make the adjustment without tools. The ideal tire has smooth sides, thick rubber on the sides where the roller contacts and is 26 millimeters, one inch or wider so that the roller does not touch the rim. Inexpensive hybrid or city tires are a good choice. Normally wide with thick rubber and fairly smooth. Avoid knobby tires, especially those with knobs along the edge of the tire where the roller touches. Knobby tires cause extra noise and vibrations when blending. Avoid old and cracking tires as they can be stiff, giving less traction on the roller. Lastly, aesthetics. You'll invite a crowd with a colorful, bright, sweet looking frame. 